I'm just going to say it off the bat. Rago was awesome. Let's. It was hilarious. Let's talk about it. So, yeah. I bet let's break down the plot first before I really get into other thought, initial thoughts I have other than that. A chameleon, who's a pet for someone we never know, played by Johnny Depp, is just that. He's a house pet who is being transferred across transferred down a highway in the back of a pickup truck. However, when they pick up... And he's an act, aspiring actor who's constantly entertaining himself with various things in his... in his tank. However, after some... after the truck accidentally hits some turbulence, he's thrown... his tank is thrown from the truck and he's abandoned from that point forward. Forced to walk the desert, he ends up coming across... He ends up eventually coming across a town, a western town called Dirt, Dirt, which is facing a dr drought, and in order to be able to cope and adapt to how rough and tough the town is, he games, gives himself the name Rango and convinces everybody he is a gunslinger who has taken out outlaws in the past. He also encounters a farm... Farmer's daughter named Beans, played by Ella Fisher. A girl named Priscilla, played by Abigail Breslin. And the mayor of the town, played by Ned Beatty. He's... He's made the sheriff, and he... After bringing down a hawk, and desperately tries to rally the people in a means of achieving water and protecting the town. Can he do so when the... Infamous outlaw Rattlesnake Jake, played by Bill Nye, shows up to cause trouble again. Okay, so yeah, it's strange that of all the Nickelodeon movies, only two, including this one, ever got nominated for Best Anime Feature, and this is the one to win. Because yeah, you think about the animated movies that went up for Best Anime Feature this year, feature that year, Cars 2, which I do like, was the Pixar film. So yeah, that wasn't nominated for Best Animated Feature. And you know what? What stands out to me the most about this movie is probably, aside from its animation, which is gorgeous animation, it's endless creativity in almost every single second. Not to mention it's the weight that it gives you. It makes you feel how real this world is. It makes you feel how real these characters are. And yeah, it's endless creativity comes from that and really makes it impressive, makes it stand out in ways that not many other animated films outside of Disney stand out. The cat voice casting is really good as well. Isla Fisher in particular stands out and Yeah, there's movie has tons of adult humor like you wouldn't believe. And yet every almost every single joke, if not every joke in the film hits the bullseye. There is, I mean, you get a bit in the film where he's, he's dressed up, he has to, in order to fool outlaws, he has to put himself in a dress, the in, dress in order to make everybody think he's a, he's a woman, or he's performing an act while playing a woman, and then there's an action sequence where he's still wearing the dress. You don't. And you don't really think about it, but at the same time, because you're so invested in the action sequences, but at the same time, you're, you do think about the fact that he's in a dress and you find it hilarious because yeah, the fact that you can still have investment in this and not be taken out of it by how absurd it gets. That's really something to appreciate about this film. And just every, in that action sequence in particular, just almost everything about this movie is just visually arresting in every single sense of the word. Not to mention a chameleon as an, as an aspiring actor. It is actually kind of an ingenious idea. And the fact that they do these aspects in the plot related to being your own... You can't walk out of your own story. You have to figure out your destiny and figure out your what's truly important at the same time is learning your own self-worth that's yeah these are that balances them really well it mixes them really well 
the fact that it can, I, and I remember, like, as much as I'd heard, I remember the first time I'd saw, seen the trailer for this, I doubted it would be good. But at the same time, I'd heard the endless praise for it. Roger Ebert, of all people, gave this movie four stars. And I can completely understand why. Because there is just such an incredible originality to this film that is very hard to come across. I mean, granted, it's a story you've kind of seen done before. But at the same time, it still just blows you away with the fact that you feel like you're seeing something that you haven't seen before. Because it's just so creative, so thoughtful in how it's not wanting to fall to the conventions of a story like this, but at the same time, same time still try to tell a story like this. So, yeah, I I can't say that I I had any trouble problems with this movie. It, it's, it's very hard to say that I, I had any problems with the movie whatsoever. I mean... I suppose one problem I might have had with the film is that, like, some of it's a little hard to hear at times because the characters can be a little soft-spoken. And even then, maybe they're a little bit too archetypal, but at the, archetypical. But at the same time, too much of archetypes. But, yeah, again, it's just... You're so in, impressed. You're so just engaged by the dialogue. So enthralled by the humor. That that doesn't matter. That it helps to make you forgive those things. And to just really find that this is a story worth investing in. This is a story worth giving your time to. Take it for what it's worth and I think that you'll have no trouble moseying into town with this one.